After decades of disinvestment, two new grocery stores are being built on Chicago's west side, something residents have long awaited as other grocery store chains have closed up shop. We spoke with two local owners about their investment in the community and what lies ahead on the road to development. This is going to be a full gut rehab. Four years ago, Liz Abuno started hosting pop-up markets in Austin, a west side community area with few fresh food options. The store, named 40 Acres Fresh Market, also delivers fresh produce across the Chicago area. But the dream was to open a brick and mortar store. When this space came on the market, I went to West Side Health Authorities and said, it needs some work, but it has a parking lot. It's a corner property. It's pretty close to Oak Park, so that'll be in the catchment area. So we get a, a diverse customer base. I think this could be the site for 40 Acres Fresh Market. Do you want to co-develop it with me? Tracy Smith has been with 40 Acres since the beginning. It's very exciting. I've never been a part of nothing like this. I just think they do everything, like help, for, go from finding the first van to finding the location where they wanted the store. Every time we go over to the store to get something, they, oh my God, when you guys gonna open? Man, soon, soon, it's coming soon. With a similar vision in mind, Albert Person is working to make fresh food more accessible in neighboring North Lawndale. I've seen the early effects of the disadvantage of the west side. Uh, versus other communities. Growing up, I've always had an aspiration to wanting to do more, so it was always a struggle. Person says his store will be the first black-owned and operated market, offering a full line of fresh groceries and meat in the North Lawndale area. Here I am now being able to fulfill my dream to help my people. I call it the healing the hood through the Healthy Eating Initiative. You know, there's not a lot of grocery stores that we can get fresh products. Person plans to source the majority of food and produce from black farmers and black owned businesses, including farmers in Kankakee. So we shouldn't have to go outside of our communities to shop. With all these clothes in that pretty much left us nowhere to shop in the community. Abuno and Person say residents are excited for what's to come and the store owners are supportive of each other's endeavors. I am so excited for Lawndale. They need another grocery store. Al cares about this community. He's very intentional in what he's trying to create. Third generation Lawndale resident Princess Shaw says she knows firsthand the need for greater food access in the area. There's like at least six, seven blocks to the east of us, six, seven blocks to the west of us, north and south. There's no real grocery stores. I know one thing's for certain people will travel for food because we have to survive, right? Shaw does community outreach for the market to help make sure residents know they can access food and produce. That's what I bring to the table is like knowing that I know Ms. Johnson stays over there, right? What we want to try to do as well is like have a system in place for seniors. Doing that weekly check-in with being a community like, hey Ms. Johnson, do you got enough bread? Do you have enough mayonnaise? Community relationships and trust are key in both Person and Abuno's plans something community leaders on the west side say is essential to opening a business that will be able to sustain itself long term. So I think that is critical if you do see that type of um, homegrown operation that community supports it because ultimately that's what's going to sustain it over time. Abuno hopes to rebuild trust with residents who've experienced decades of disinvestment and she sees the grocery store as much more than just somewhere to access food. It's a place for people to just to, to meet and be together and interact as human beings. And I think that's so important for a community. And when a community doesn't have that social infrastructure and people don't have a place to go, you see that it's harder to keep that cohesion within a neighborhood. In North Lawndale, meat and fresh produce market is set to open this spring and 40 Acres is hoping to start construction this year. For more information on these Westside grocery stores, visit WTTW.com news.